When you touch something, what did you really feel? Many of you will say absolutely temperature of that object. Mm, no. To understand this, we need to do two experiments first. Experiment number one. Now take two blocks, one made up of iron and another of wood. Now touch both of them together. What did you feel? Did you feel iron is more colder than wood? So it means iron is colder than wood. Now let's test both of their temperature. The results might be surprising for you because both are of same temperature. So how it can be possible? But before getting answer, let's do another experiment. Experiment number two. Take the same blocks as you used in experiment number one. Now put the ice cubes on both of them. Can you predict which ice cube will melt first? The ice cube on a iron or ice cube on a wood? Pause this video now and tell your predictions me in comment section. You would notice that ice on iron will melt first than ice on wood. But why these things are happening? You feel iron is colder than wood, so ice has to melt slower on iron. But things are happening just opposite. The only answer for this is thermal conductivity. The metals are good thermal conductors than the wood. The iron conducts heat lot more faster than wood. That's why ice melts first. The same thing is happening when you touch the iron. It is conducting heat lot more faster than wood from your hand. So what you are feeling is not the temperature of iron. It's your own temperature. I mean temperature of your own hand. So when you touch anything, you don't really feel its temperature. What you feel is temperature of your own hand. Hot or cold is not equal to temperature. If you like this video, then hit a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed Recall Science, then subscribe because there is lot more to explore. And stay safe, stay curious.